Hello and welcome to Ten Man Normal Megara, the giant Hydra boss with a coolness level of over 9,000. So there are three types of heads. Flaming heads, frozen heads, and venomous heads. You need to kill seven heads to kill Megara. The fight starts off pretty light and not too intense, but seeing as it's a Hydra, the more heads you kill, the more heads it has, and the more damage it does. You only ever want to kill the flaming and venomous heads. You do not ever want to kill the frozen head. Once you start killing heads, more heads of that same color will appear at the back of the room. You can't attack them, but they will start using abilities. So like I said before, the more heads you kill, the harder this fight is going to get. The flaming heads cast cinders, which puts a debuff on a random player. That player must run out somewhere away from other players and be dispelled, leaving a patch of fire on the ground where they were dispelled. So make sure not to go somewhere you will need to stand later on. The Venomous Heads cast Acid Rain. This lobs a big ball of goop at the raid. Its landing zone is shown by a green swirl. The further you get from this, the lower the damage it will do, so players should move a bit away from the impact zone. Even though for this guide we won't be killing the Frozen Heads, if you do kill them, you will need to deal with Torrent of Ice, which is a beam of ice that chases a player, and when it hits the player, it deals damage and leaves a patch of icy ground that deals damage and slows you if you stand in it. These should be moved away from the raid, and if possible, they should go into the fiery patch left by cinders to extinguish it. Their heads themselves have a frontal cone breath attack, and should be tanked facing away from the raid. The breath attack also places a stacking debuff on the tanks, though we found that we killed the head we were focused on before this became an issue, and then we had to move up or down the platform to tank a new head, allowing our stacks to reset. Each time you kill a head, your group should stack up near where the next two heads have spawned and heal like crazy, because the boss will use Rampage, which deals massive AoE damage to the whole raid. You'll want to save cooldowns and have a cooldown rotation for rampages later on in the fight, because with more heads comes a more intense rampage. Tanks should move out of the stack a few seconds before rampage ends so they can get the heads pointed away from the raid. Bloodlust should be saved for later on in the fight, probably to help with rampage damage. I hope you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful, and if you did, then please click that like button and post a comment as it really helps me out. And of course, subscribe for more videos. Good luck and have fun. Cheerio.